Astronomers have found clear evidence of what could be an Earth 2.0. This artist's rendering shows the rocky planet identified as Proxima b, orbiting the Proxima Centauri star. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our planet apart from the sun, and it is about 4.25 light years away. NASA has discovered a super Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light years away, or about roughly 800 trillion miles. Astronomers say the planet is about one and a half times the size of Earth and orbits a small reddish star that is cooler than our sun. NASA says because the super-Earth orbits such a short distance from that star, a year for that planet is equal to just 19 days on Earth. Now, scientists are hailing a major discovery, a new planet which they've called Proxima b. At just four light years away, it's relatively close to us. It's roughly the same size as Earth, and because it's just the right distance away from its star, it could be the right temperature to have liquid water and possibly life. They found an alien world orbiting around it. This is an artist's impression. No one's seen the planet directly, but researchers know it's there because of tiny movements in the star. It's a huge moment in the exploration of space. This is the nearest planet that potentially um, can have life and can, have, um, can be, in a sense, similar to our own planet. So I think that, that that's a big discovery. There, there are hundreds of planets being discovered now every month, but this is a really special one. That's the nearest one. This, will hap this happened once, will not happen again. It's hard to grasp distance in space and where this newly found planet actually is. So let's start with the moon. That's 239,000 miles from us. Further out, there's Pluto. Now that's 4.6 billion miles away. But gaze beyond our solar system to the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri, and that's 24 trillion miles away, which sounds a lot, but in space terms, it's our neighbor. That's where a planet has been discovered, orbiting around it. And the reason scientists are so excited is that this alien world is the closest there is outside our own solar system. It's been called Proxima b. It's slightly larger than Earth, and although its star is much cooler than our sun, the planet is in just the right zone for liquid water to exist on its surface. And that means that in theory, it could support life. Well, Proxima Centauri, as you indicated, is the closest star to the Earth and it has a planet orbiting around the Proxima Centauri b. Uh, Proxima Centauri itself is a part of a, a category of star that is very, very common in the Milky Way galaxy. It's what we call a red dwarf. And as a consequence, it's become a real focal point, that type of star, to look for planets and thus to look for life, the signs of life uh, that could exist there. Here to discuss it with us is CBS News contributor and theoretical physicist Michio Kaku. Dr. Kaku, I am very excited to talk about this. Uh, the discovery of an Earth-like planet a mere 4.2 million light years away, uh, how big of a deal is this? This is a game changer, because astronomers have hit the jackpot. This is their dream come true. A new chapter in astronomy has opened up. Now, the holy grail of astronomy is to find the closest Earth-like twin, a doppelganger in outer space. And now we've nailed it. After looking at 4,000 extrasolar planets, we finally found the closest one that looks very similar to the planet Earth, we think. Think about that. How did we not know this existed before? Well, these planets are very tiny and very difficult to find. Now, if you look at the night sky at night, uh, the stars you see at night are several hundred to a few thousand light years distant. This planet is 4.25 <laughs> light years. That's a hop, skip, and a jump. Right. And Stephen Hawking, my colleague, has already stated that in 20 years, 20 years' time, we'll send the first probes to the nearby stars. Mm -hmm. A new chapter in astronomy. Instead of trying to explore the solar system, now we're actually thinking about going to the next solar system in outer space. Now, when, you, when we say this could be an Earth 2.0, it makes me think of the people here on Earth 1.0 who think we may be ruining the place and need to go somewhere. Is this the kind of place we could go and just set up life as we know it? Not in our lifetime. First of all, we can't even go to Mars yet with a colony. Uh, NASA has already stated that sometime in the 2030s, the first humans will go to the red planet. So probably by the end of this century, we'll have actually a functioning colony on Mars. But to actually send people to Earth 2.0, 
that would require new technologies into the next century. Mm -hmm. That's why Stephen Hawking wants to send chips, postage stamp sized chips by the thousands shot by laser beams to oh, the nearby stars, traveling at 20% the speed of light. And researchers have determined that the planet's temperature is actually sustainable for liquid water. What does that mean? That's right. If you're too close to the mother star, then the oceans will boil. If you're too far from the mother star, the oceans will freeze. You want to be in the Goldilocks zone, where water is just right to be liquid. And why liquid water? Because liquid water is the universal solvent. It's the amniotic fluid that gave birth to DNA and RNA here on the planet Earth. And we think that this planet is right in the habitable zone. Bingo, mm. right where it has to be. So Dr. Kaku, I, I can't let you go without asking you this question. We know the temperature, we have some idea of what it looks like, we think it's a lot like Earth. Do we know whether or not there is anyone living there? No, and I'm sure if there are people living there, they would ask the question, is there intelligent life on the Earth? A mysterious planet has piqued the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. James Webb Telescope just announced the clearest image of Proxima be seen in history. What secrets does this distant world hold? Can it support life? Let's have a look into what the James Webb Telescope just revealed. Looking back billions of years into the universe's history, we can glimpse how galaxies came into existence. And with the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, we can take that principle to the next level and explore the furthest reaches of space. The infrared images captured by the JWST are unlike anything human eyes have ever seen before. And the telescope's capabilities depend on how it's utilized, much like a Snapchat filter on your phone. The James Webb Space Telescope enables astronomers to study the early universe and better understand the birth of galaxies, stars, and planets. Researchers can analyze the hues in those images by using the telescope's camera and filters to gather a specific range of light colors. The JWST will also investigate the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system and search for indications of extraterrestrial life. The JWST's ability to look further back in time and space than ever before has led to significant findings on the evolution of the cosmos. For example, astronomers use the telescope to discover more mass than previously believed to exist in the universe, hidden away in several massive galaxies. James Webb Telescope just announced the clearest image of Proxima be seen in history. In 2013, astronomers detected hints of a tiny gravitational tug exerted by a planet on its star after years of searching. The planet, which orbits Proxima Centauri, was later named Proxima b. The discovery of this planet is fascinating since it orbits the closest star system to us after the Sun observing the Alpha Centauri system, which is around four light years away from us, provides a glimpse into the past since we are seeing it as it was four years ago. Proxima B certainly takes the cake when it comes to exciting astronomical discoveries. This planet is located a mere 25 light years away from Earth, making it one of the closest exoplanets ever discovered. But don't let the distance fool you. Proxima B is a whole different world from our own. The planet is about 30% more massive than Earth, which means it's bigger too. But don't let that fool you. Proxima B's year only lasts 11.2 Earth days, which is super short. That's because the planet orbits its star, Proxima Centauri, at a distance of just 7.3 million kilometers. That's less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. You might be thinking that a planet that's so close to its star must be boiling hot, but Proxima Centauri is a tiny red dwarf star that doesn't radiate nearly as much energy as our Sun. So, what would it be like to stand on the surface of Proxima b and gaze up at Proxima Centauri? The star would look like a dull red orb, roughly three times as big as our sun. And if the planet is in its star's habitable zone, which it appears to be, it might have the right conditions to support liquid water. But before you start packing your bags for an interplanetary adventure, you should know that Proxima b is far from a second Earth. For one, the planet is likely tidally locked with its star, which means one side faces a star while the other is always in darkness. That's definitely not a comfortable environment for any potential life forms. 
and any water that comes too close to the star would be boiled away by its powerful radiation. On the other hand, if a planet is too far from its star, it won't receive enough heat and all of its water will freeze. Proxima Centauri might not be as friendly to life as we thought. Despite having only a fraction of the sun's mass, its small size causes its nuclear fusion cores to be much closer to its surface, resulting in chaotic and turbulent surface activity. This activity leads to extremely powerful magnetic fields that produce high-energy radiation and particle bursts, posing a significant challenge for planets like Proxima b that orbit within the star's habitable zone. While scientists had some knowledge about the magnetic field conditions around nearby stars, they were in the dark about the precise conditions around Proxima Centauri until now. Thanks to a recent study using high-resolution magnetic field maps, we better understand the star's solar wind and the dire situation on Proxima b. The study revealed that the planet receives roughly 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, putting any potential life at risk from powerful flares. In fact, a Proxima Centauri flare in April 2021 was 100 times more potent than any flare ever observed from the sun. It's hard to imagine life surviving such intense radiation without specialized shelter. While the idea of a habitable planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is captivating, the reality seems far from hospitable. As humans, we have always been fascinated with the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life. And in late 2020, that fascination reached new heights when a peculiar signal was discovered originating from the Alpha Centauri system. Interestingly, this signal reads at an unusual frequency of 982.07 MHz, which is not typically associated with signals from Earth-based satellites and spacecraft. While some experts speculate that a piece of manufactured equipment may have caused the signal, others continue to dream that it may be proof of intelligent life. Traveling to Proxima Centauri, the nearest planet outside our solar system, and encountering alien life may not be as far-fetched as once thought. The Breakthrough Initiatives have been researching the possibility of cutting down travel time from hundreds of years to just decades. Recent research highlights how current technology could potentially overcome the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases, particularly as it approaches the speed of light. Despite this, Alpha Centauri, being the closest star system to Earth, would still require around 6,000 years of travel time with current technology, making it a daunting journey. Starshot, a project aimed at reaching Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth, is considering using lasers to propel a spacecraft toward its destination. However, the main challenge lies in the Earth's atmosphere, which affects incoming light and laser light, making it difficult to exert the necessary force to move a spacecraft forward. Bandit Tunga, the paper's first author, suggests that adaptive optics could be used in reverse to overcome this challenge. Small lasers on satellites would assess atmospheric effects in real time, allowing much more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a tight focus on the space probe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks to groundbreaking missions such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Kepler Space Observatory, and countless studies conducted from the ground, we've only scratched the surface of what we know about our universe. But it's a start. And if you're as fascinated by space exploration as we are, then you won't want to miss a single episode of Voyager. So, while you're here, be sure to check out the video on your screen for more mind-blowing insights into the mysteries of the cosmos. Who knows what we'll discover next?